Hey guys, happy holidays. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a cool centerpiece or a cool craft for your mantle using empty wine bottles. So I know as moms you guys have to have some empty bottles, wine bottles lying around because I know I do. <laughs> so might as well put them to good use, recycle them because we're about to make something really cool. So keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're gonna do is of course recycle some wine bottles or some bottles like this, glass bottles. This is from an Italian soda. Um, so what you're gonna do is just soak them for about, they say about 20 minutes, but I did it overnight and it, it just came out right away, the paper. So soak them for at least an hour and um, then take the peels off, okay? Okay guys, so once you take the peel off, see it came out beautifully, there's nothing left on there. Um, you take them outside and you spray paint them, whatever color you like. You know, be creative with this, whatever style, whatever decor, whatever color you use. Um, I'm going to make mine today black. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try a matte, a matte or matte, and then I'm going to try um, the sparkly one. And I'm also going to color these these little like you can get little wooden letters, but I got these little I had these at home already. And I, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint them white. Okay. So let me show you guys how to do it. Okay, guys. I hope you guys can see. I'm gonna try the mate first. See how that works. I hope I'm saying it right. You guys should probably use some gloves. I never do, <laughs> but. I always get my hands stained. So let's try it out. Let's see how this works. This is the first time I'm doing it, so. All right. So see, it's starting to darken up. You might have to do one or two coats, depending on how it sticks. Once you let that dry, you paint it again. Okay guys, so the things that you'll need for this craft is um, spray paint, of course. Any color that you'd like. I use black and white. And then I used, um, I'm gonna use some flowers. I just got these for like, what is it? 97 cents at Walmart. And then any kind of this stuff, I think it's called mesh. So any kind of this, I also got this at the 99 cents. It was like a three pack for a dollar. You need a glue gun and some glue, possibly some scissors, any ribbon that you'd like. Also three bottles for this special project, three bottles. I already painted them black here. And some letters, if you have some wooden letters. And these are the caps. Okay guys, I'm back. They're already done drying. See, they're completely dry. I actually used two coats. If you want it darker, you can always use three coats. Um, remember when you do these projects, guys, it's not about perfection. It's not about everything being perfect. It's about creativity. It's about having fun. It's about enjoying what you're doing. So it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? Um, here's one that I did. And it came out so cute. I stick the, um, the little letter here, the O, and then I put some of that mesh around the bottom with some um, glue. And then I put this up here. And I just put the cap back on, very simple. Let me show you guys. I hope you guys can see it. So this is Joy right here. It's gonna say Joy. I already did the J and the O. And I did the same thing with this one, just stuck a flower on there, the letter J, and put some, some of this stuff on top, the little mesh rope on top. I'm actually doing this color 
because um, for my daughter's quinceanera, I made these really cute um, candle, candle centerpieces. So I'm gonna put this on my table. I wanted to match the color. So I'm gonna have that and have the little bottles in the back. Let me lift it a little so you guys can see. Okay, so I did those two. And then let me show you guys how to do how to do this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one is um, I'm gonna put the mesh in the middle, okay? Let me scoot these over so you guys can kind of see. Okay, so this is how I start. I'm gonna put it probably right here. So I start putting it like this. Ooh, be careful, don't get burned, please. And then you just start wrapping it around. Okay, so just start wrapping it around. Just wrap it around. And at the end, you could add more glue to it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just have fun with it. I love this stuff. I use it for like all my projects. And I got it from like the Dollar Tree, which is pretty cool. This is like the cheapest craft that you can do for like your mantle or like your, um, you know, a centerpiece or like a window. I think it would look really pretty. Okay, so once you're done with that, oops. You just put, you put it all together. And then you just glue it. Glue the ends and put some glue like in between so it won't like come apart. see how it looks all right so once you're done with that you get your flowers I got these flowers for like 97 cents and all you do is just take the little stem off like cut the little stem off cut the little stem off and then just put some glue on it and stick it wherever you'd like I'm gonna put one on top and one at the bottom right here I'm gonna refill my glue and then I get another one, put some more glue and put this one at the bottom. Yep, I hope it's coming out straight. I can't really see. All right. You gotta hold it for a couple seconds. And then, I'm just gonna add my Y. And I'm gonna put this one, let me see, oops. Right in front of it. All right, and we are done. That is it. So that says, joy. Like I said, it's not perfect, you know, it's, it's very, very cute. Yep. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. Um, this very simple and easy, cheap craft that you can do for your home. Like I said, be creative. Use whatever colors, whatever designs, whatever theme you have going in your house. Make sure to check out my other videos and make sure to like if you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.